In this video, we look at how you can find the ending compound amount on a retirement investment using compound interest logic in Excel. Suppose I have $15,000 to deposit into a retirement account that pays interest compounded semi-annually. I plan to grow the funds for 25 years and yield an interest of 6%. There is an easy solution to find future value after compounding interest using the future value function. The present value is a negative cash flow and should be recognized as a negative. Since the interest is compounded twice a year, interest is compounded at 3% for each period. Periods will be doubled to 50. Now I can enter the future value function and use each value as a cell reference. Payment will be zero because I'm making an assumption that no payments will be made during the 25 years. The compounded amount is about $65,759. Thanks for watching this video. For articles related to Excel see the link in the description.